Hey Ignition, I just want to go over some of the rules with you guys that we created a couple months ago and you're going to see them in just a second on the screen but I just want to go over with you those rules uh, believe it or not the teenagers a couple months ago helped create all these rules so we're listing all the don't do's but just about every rule the first first situation that's going to happen with that rule is a, a verbal warning the second situation is we will ask you to come behind the curtain and one of the leaders will speak with you and the third third situation is likely going to be hey we, we want you to take the night off come back next week okay and the reason why we have the rules is just so we can have a good service so that people can learn what do we need to learn about we need to learn about God we need to learn about God's love so if we're distracted by those around us it's hard it's hard to hear the word the Bible says uh, how shall they hear unless someone preaches so if someone's up there preaching the word isn't going to do anything for anybody's life until they hear it so let me go over the rules with you guys really quick one of the rules that we have is boys and girls will be separated during the service uh, there's a good reason for that boys do not listen when they're sitting next to a good-looking girl I've known that for many years I used to be a junior high teenager the other rule only one person is allowed behind the curtain at a time uh, we just don't need like five people getting up to go to the bathroom at the same time it's distracting you guys are big now you can go to the bathroom by yourself you get a drink of water by yourself food will be available from 6 30 to 7:25. at 7:25, it's cleanup time to get ready for service that's not the time that everybody makes a mad rush for the food hey some star service let's get some food real quick and then it takes 10 minutes just for people to get on the other side of the curtain so we can start service. Another rule, no electronics during service, Plain, please turn them on silent. The only exception to that rule is if, if it's during the message and you're following along on version. You have a way of reading the Bible verses on your phone, that's cool. All right. Or if we're playing some game where I say, or one of the leaders say, okay, get out your phone and text the answer, you can use your phone. If not, turn it on silent. The playground is off limits. That's before we come inside, that's while we're inside, and that's after after service is over. Alright, so no playground where the little tents are, the, the yellow canopy, the covering. No PDA. And if you don't know what that is, it's not a palm pilot or anything. It's public display of affection, boys and girls, or boys and boys, or girls and girls. No PDA. Side hugs are cool, but no holding hands, no excessive holding like, I just can't let go of this boy, he's just so cute. No PDA. Oh, no kissing. Don't go overboard during game time, alright? Uh, keep calm. Don't go too crazy, don't get too wild that you're a danger to other people around you. Stay calm. Have fun. But don't kill anyone. Respect your leaders. Now, again, we're trying to make this a two-way street here at Ignition. We want to respect you. We want you to listen and respect us in return. All right? That's why uh, the, the second situation for one of these rules is we're going to pull you to the back and have a private conversation instead of, Hey, you! What are you doing? In front of everybody. We know that's not cool. You don't want to be embarrassed in front of your friends. So if one of our leaders on the second instance ask you to step behind the curtain we're doing that so that it's a private conversation so we're not blasting you in front of everyone so cool uh, we ask you to respect that too uh, if someone asks you to step behind the curtain they need to talk with you don't make a big scene it's not Jerry Springer all right no talking disrupting or dis or being disrespective during the service please pay attention again it's we want to hear the words about Jesus because one day you guys are going to need those words if you get in a situation you need help. You need to be able to know what his word says. So we just want it to we want everyone to just listen while the message is being spoken. It not only encourages the speaker, but it helps the person next to you hear the words that could change their life. All right? Uh, if you look at it this way, sometimes it's a matter of life and death, all right? So allow the person next to you to hear the word. It could save their life. 
no fighting. This is one of those obvious rules. Don't fight, don't hurt each other. We don't need broken bones or blood. We don't need anybody to go to the hospital. No gossiping, all right? You got a secret, keep it to yourself. All right, no, don't gossip. Don't go around just trashing on people with your words. Uh, stay in front of the curtain. Kind of already mentioned this. That's our last rule. Stay in front of the curtain. Not a lot of rules, but again, everything comes down to we want to have a good atmosphere so that people can receive the word or while we're worshiping, people can enter into worship. This is all about being here for God, not for play time, talk time, friend time. Come in. We're only asking for about 90 minutes. We'll watch some videos. We'll have fun. We'll sing. We'll get to listen to the Word of God, 9 to 9.30 or whenever you leave. Hey, back to your friends, talk it up, have fun. But let's just be here to learn about Jesus, all right? Love you guys. Ignition.